the Bulls try to break out and fail, and the Bears break support. Can they follow through? This is Invest with Jacob. Okay, guys, so in yesterday's video, our main path was looking for a bullish breakout based on the setup on the chart, and the Bulls did their best to break out but failed to break through resistance, and the Bears took the ball and ran it down. They broke through support, and now our main path is looking lower. However, the Bulls aren't dead yet. I'll get into that in just one second, but first, if you're new here, welcome to the show, guys. My name is Jacob Gabbard, and this is Invest with Jacob, where we use Elliott Wave Theory to break down the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ. I highly encourage you to hit that subscribe button down below so that you can get our daily S&P updates, our trade setups, and our buy alerts. All right, guys, so we did have someone leave the group over the new year. It was a really cool story. You can see his uh, message to us on the screen right now. He left the group because what he learned in the group taught him to be a professional trader where he can pay himself a salary plus profits. That's a pretty cool thing, and that's really what we're here to do. We don't just trade. We teach you the methods of trading that will make you profitable and build your bankroll. So if you're really interested in learning about that, stay tuned for later in the video. For now, let's jump into the chart and take a look. Okay, guys, so here we are on the one-hour futures chart for the S&P 500. And as you can see, they tried to break out. They made several attempts up here at 3,900. Couldn't quite get there. And then the Bears took the ball down for the rest of the day, taking us down below our support area at the 3,820 level. So that does lead us to believe that we should be heading lower, breaking this wave three low, okay, at the 3,780 area and down toward 3750 to 3720 on the futures market. So the way that should look as our primary path is it does look like they've completed wave one down here. We did get a nice five down. And with that, we are getting our wave two bounce. So our wave two bounce should hold in the uh, 3860 to 3885 area. We should look for that to hold on this move up. And then we should see the start to a wave three down that should break the low and take us down into the 3760 area and then a wave four bounce and then wave five on down toward that 3550 to 3520 or 3750 to 3720 area on the futures chart. So that's what we're looking for. We're looking for this wave two to come on up, which it's doing right now into this uh, resistance zone, which again is at 3860 up as high as 3885. Over 38.85, the Bears need to start to be worried. And of course, if they take out yesterday's high, then it's a strong signal that our bullish path that I'm going to go over here in just a second is playing out. So for the Bulls, they do have a path higher. However, it is a diagonal, and those are very unreliable. And it would be a leading diagonal in this case. And what we would look for on diagonals is every wave is a three-wave move. So instead of looking for five up here, you look for three up for a wave one. So you have A, B, C for one, A, B, C for two, okay? Then you'd be looking at uh, the A wave of three up here. You'd have A, B, C for A of three, the B wave of three down. Then you'd look for the C wave of three up toward the 3942 to 3960 area. As I said, if they break out over 39, uh, over yesterday's high and break over 39.16, then it does become a fairly strong indication that this diagonal may play out. Now, remember, we don't trust diagonals, and I always tell you that the bulls or bears, if they're going to do a diagonal, need to prove it. Okay, so they need all five waves before I'm sold on this count, but it is a potential bullish path higher. Once they get up here into this 3940 area, you'd look for an A, B, C down and four that reaches into wave one territory because that's how diagonals work. That's the hallmark of a diagonal. Wave four crosses into wave one territory. And then you'd look for three waves up in five up toward the 3980 region. So the bulls do have a direct path higher. However, I think it's much more likely we head lower into that 3750 to 3720 area and then start to see the reversal in the C wave. Still well within our resistance box of 37 to 3800, and they can even dip into the 3600s before it starts to get a little bit um, nervous for the bulls. And we could be seeing the C wave down toward the 2900 to 2500 area that we've talked about. So overall, I do think that support will hold either here in a diagonal bullishly, which is less likely, or more likely they will make the lower low in the 3750 to 20 area, and we'll see the C wave up from there. In either case, I am expecting the support area to hold, 
and us to get that support or that bullish bounce up toward 4300 before we see a strong sell-off down toward the 2500 to 2900 areas. Over on the NASDAQ, as you can imagine, very similar counts. Okay, we got the move up. They tried to break out and failed. And now it does look like we've completed wave one down on the NASDAQ. Okay, and we're trying to make wave two up. And then we would look for wave three, four, and five down on the NASDAQ to bring us into that 10,600 area to complete the move down. And from there, we would look for a bounce as our main path. And that bounce is a C wave, okay, up toward the 14,000 area, 13 to 14,000 area, um, closer to 13,000, more likely to challenge that August high and give us a, a nice B wave up off of our A wave low that we made at 3,500. So um, NASDAQ playing out very similar. They also have a bullish diagonal count. Okay, again, diagonals are three wave moves for all five waves. So you'd have A, B, C up for one. You got A, B, C down for two. And you'd be building wave three as we speak. If they take out yesterday's high, that's a indication that we could be pushing that diagonal count, especially if they can push as high as 11,315. That would be the target area for that move up and will give us an indication that the diagonal could be playing out. Again, remember, we don't trust diagonals. They're unreliable and is not my preferred count. I would much rather see lower at this point down to the 10,600 area and then a reversal from there. Guys, if you love the information that I put out in these videos and you want real-time market updates from me, you need to check out investwithjacob.com. There's a link down in the description. Go ahead and click that link and it will take you right over to our membership plans area. We've added new content, guys. We have an Elliott Wave for Beginners course right here if you sign up. If you click on that, you can go into our course where we teach Elliott Wave. I give you an introduction, our chart setup and tools, Elliott Wave for Beginners. It's all in there. There's more courses to come and you get all of that with your membership okay so you check out our membership plans area we have two incredible rooms and they both come with a seven day free trial because i want you to get in there make sure you love it and become part of our trading team before you ever spend a penny you can cancel at any time in our first room the invest with jacob room you get all of my real-time market updates all of my elliott wave trading videos my midday video, all of my buy and sell alerts, as well as all of your Elliott Wave questions answered. We trade the SPY and the QQQ, and we swing trade, which means our trades last anywhere from a few days to a few months, so we don't trade quite as often as a day trading room does. However, if you are into day trading as well as individual stocks, you need to check out PT's Throne Room. In there, you get everything you get in the Invest with Jacob room, as well as day trading, individual stocks, and PT's reduced risk binary method that just crushes the market. He gets you in at a cheap price and gets you huge multiples on your money, and it's how he structures the trades that's so unique. It's something you kind of have to see to understand, and that's another reason we give you that seven-day free trial. He also started a challenge account where he put $4,000 into an account showing you how to build a small account into a large retirement or savings account trading mini ES futures averaging 3 to 4% gains per week. Guys, we would love to have you in these rooms so we can make some money together. All right, guys, key takeaways for today. Our primary path on the ES is lower. We are looking for them to complete five down into that 3720 to 50 area. However, the Bulls do have a uh, Hail Mary attempt at a diagonal. In that case, they would need to break out over yesterday's high and head toward that 3940 area. Over on the NASDAQ, same type of setup. We are looking for uh, a direct move lower as our primary path into the 10,600 area. However, again, the Bulls do have a Hail Mary for a diagonal that would take them up to the 1,300 re 11,300 region and then on from there. Guys, that is the market update for today. I will talk to you tomorrow.